In this video, let us look into the various types of triangles. The first one is scalene triangle. A scalene triangle is nothing but a triangle which no two sides are equal. So basically, scalene triangle is no two sides are equal. All the three sides of the triangle will have different lengths. So that is called as a scalene triangle. Say for example, something like this. If this is 1, if this is 2, this will be 3. So this is a scalene triangle. Next one is called as an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle is nothing but a triangle two of whose sides are equal in length are called as an isosceles triangle. So, here two sides are equal. For example, we can draw something like this and you can see that these two sides are equal. And if two sides are equal, you can see these kind of lines, say this and this. So, that shows that these two sides are equal. And say we can say that this is 3 and this is 3, this will be 4 units. Whatever that may be, 3 centimeters or 4 centimeters. Or so, two sides are equal here. Another kind of a triangle is called equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the sides are equal. Say, for example, this would be an equilateral triangle. Say, everything will be 1, 1, 1 or 2, 2, 2 or 3, 3, 3. And we can also mark it like this. So, this shows that all the three sides are equal. Now, these three classifications are based on the sides of a triangle. Another kind of a classification is based on angles. Let us see what is that like. First one is an acute angle triangle. Now, what is this acute triangle? Acute triangle is nothing but a triangle, each of whose angles are acute is called as an acute angle triangle. Say, the best simple example would be something like this. Every angle is acute. This is an acute triangle. It's nothing but all angles in the triangle are acute. That is, all the angles will be less than 90 degrees. And then we have another kind of a triangle called the right triangle. This is one of the most important forms of triangle which has applications in a wide range. So, a right triangle is nothing but, I mean, I'm sure you all know what is a right angle. Right angle is nothing but a 90 degree, something like this. So, a right triangle is nothing but a triangle which has at least one right angle in it. It has only one right angle in it and then the third side joins the right angle. So, you have a 90 degree line here and then therefore it is called as a right angle. So, a triangle with one right angle is called as a right triangle and then the last one we have something called as the obtuse triangle obtuse triangle is nothing but greater than 90 less than 180 not it doesn't mean all angles are obtuse all angles cannot be obtuse but the sum of all the three angles in a triangle itself is equal to 180 so a triangle with one angle obtuse this is more than 90 degrees so this is an obtuse triangle this angle is obtuse here. A triangle which has one obtuse angle is called as an obtuse triangle. 